Are you looking for a Git server? Are you wondering which option is the best one for you? Well, today we are going to put three of them head to head. We're going to have a look at Git here. We're also going to have a look at Gogs. We're going to have a look at Forge Joe. And we want to know which Git server is the better option, what features they have and why you should be using them. So let's check them out. Okay, so Gitia is a self-hosted service providing Git hosting, code review, CICD, and packaging registry all in one platform. It almost seems too good to be true. It's lightweight and it's super fast. It's perfect for servers with limited resources. And let me tell you something I know about limited resources. It is also open source under the MIT license with an active contributor community, which is also great. So constant updates. It has repository management. So it's got full support for branching for tags and also pull requests with very, very intuitive controls. It's got robust code reviews with inline comments as well as workflow approvals. You can also track milestones, assignments, time, as well as dependencies all in one place. It's compatible with GitHub Actions and YAML workflows for amazing automation. The last thing over here that I would just like to highlight is the package type. So it supports NPM, Maven, PyPy, NuGet, and many more artifact registries. That's more than 20 in total. And you can easily deploy across various platforms with minimal dependencies. That includes uh, more than five operating systems. It's got granular permission management. So um, it also has strong access control. And then it has a role based author authorizations. Excuse me. So those are all enterprise grade security features. And then it has a multilingual interface which supports teams across different regions as well as languages. So that is awesome if you are working in a team with people with different um, different languages. Let's have a look at GOGS now. So GOGS delivers a streamlined Git service that prioritizes simplicity and efficiency above all else. So if you're looking for something easy, easy, easy to use, GOGS is the way to go. So it's written in Go. It deploys as a single binary for lightning fast installations. Also, it has minimal memory and CPU footprint, which keeps your server running super, super smooth. It's open source um, project under MIT license as well with regular community updates. You gotta love updates. Okay, so it also has essential Git operations, including clone, push, and pull with very, very reliable performance. It has a simple UI for browsing repos, managing branches, and handling pull requests. It has fantastic team management, so user team, as well as organization tools for collaborative development projects. And it is basic, but effective um, with issue management for team coordination. You can also see over here, it runs on minimal hardware. It's perfect for small servers and IoT devices. It supports SQLite for simple deployments. It works with MySQL for medium workloads and PostgreSQL options for enterprise use. There's no complex dependency stack needed across Linux, Mac OS, as well as Windows. Forge Joe is now what you are looking at. So it is a Gitia fork focused on transparency as well as collaborative development. It also is open source, so it's free to use as well as modify under the open source licensing. You can complete repository management. Um, it also has a system designed for independency and it emphasizes ethical development practices and democratic user governance. You can see over here, it is a complete Git hosting service with repositories, branches, and tags. It's integrated code reviews and comprehensive issue tracking is another core feature. And it has webhooks and automation tools for integrated workflows. 
Some of the unique highlights over here about Forge Joe is their transparent community governance with democratic decisions. It also is a strong focus on user privacy and ethical open source practices. You can distribute maintenance by global contributors. You can see over here also the um, advanced integrations. It's got CI/CD pipeline integrations, so you can seamlessly connect with popular CI/CD tools like Jenkins, GitHub Actions. It automates testing and deployment workflows with minimal configuration. It has robust plug-in architectures which support community-developed extensions, and it's easily expandable functionality without modifying your core code. It also has a comprehensive REST API, which enables custom tooling and integrations. It's well-documented endpoints for developers to build upon. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. There are so many options available. There's tons of software available. There's so many apps available. It's easy to get lost. My advice is always to go and try two or three or four options and see what actually works best for your specific use case. Actually use it and see what actually is the right option. I hope this was helpful. If it really was, you can help the channel out by hitting the subscribe button. You can help us get to 10,000 subs. We'll see you in another awesome video.